Hey, today on the Mike Powers Minute, we're going to talk about somebody that's been getting a lot of attention lately. She dropped a couple of freestyles. Her views are blowing up online, and she's putting herself in the conversation for hottest female entertainer right now. Not just rapper, but entertainer. I'm talking about singers, rappers, actresses, all that. The person I'm talking about is Megan the Stallion, but before we let that horse out the barn, don't forget, if you feel what I'm doing, drop a like, hit that sub button, share the video, and please leave a comment. Every little bit does help the channel, and I do thank you for watching. Now let's get into it. So I'm watching SNL this weekend, hosted by Chance the Rapper, not feeling him at all. And I see Megan Thee Stallion come out during one of his performances. So it's Saturday night. I'm sitting around in my drawers. I ain't going nowhere. Nothing else is on TV. So I'm like, fuck it. Let me see what all the fuss is about. Since everybody is talking about Megan Thee Stallion. Been hearing a lot about her, but haven't really checked out the music. So we already established that I think Chance the Rapper is garbage. Um, the song was all right, but his performance was bullshit. Nigga was running out of breath trying to sing. I really think he's trying to be the new childish Gambino. Anyway, Megan came out and her verse was pretty good. She had pretty good stage presence uh, for a brand new artist. I was lightweight impressed. So right then I was like, I got to do a show about Megan the Stallion, but I, I hadn't listened to any of her music. So, you know, I got to do my research before I come at y'all with this. So first of all, this should not be considered in any way a definitive review of Megan Thee Stallion or her music. I'm just trying to get first impressions and see where what bag she's coming out of. So I listened to four songs and that's what I'm bringing y'all today. I'm gonna spit on myself. First song, Hot Girl Summer featuring Nicki Minaj and Ty Dolla Sign. This song got a mid-tempo to fast tempo kind of beat. It's a decent beat, it's basic, but I do see what they was going for. Ty Dolla Sign on the chorus was pretty damn tight. I think Ty's going for the title of Chorus King, once held by the late great Nate Dogg. Rest in peace, Nate D-O double G. Now let's get to Megan Thee Stallion. She can spit, don't get it fucked up. Now she may not be a Nas or a Jay-Z, but she is a strong lyricist. If she's writing that shit, I don't know. But let's just say she's a good spitter. And when I'm talking about spitters, while Nicki Minaj may not be my go-to when I'm riding around in the whip, Nicki ripped the fuck out this song. So overall, it's a good jam. Megan did her thing, but it's only one song. So let's move on to the next one, see what we got going. Next up, Cash Shift featuring the baby. So one day I was looking at YouTube, listening to this song, not even paying attention. I hear this dude start spitting. I look at the TV like, who the fuck is that? So I look over, it's the baby. Now, I'm talking about some other dude's song. Like, he was featured on some dude's cut. I don't know who the dude is. If you know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section. But when I turned and, and the baby was spitting, I'm like, damn, this dude can actually sp Anyway, first things first. The beat is fire. It reminds me of some 80s updated stripped down type of beat in a good way. Anyway, Megan is spitting on this. I mean, sometimes it don't have to be the greatest lyrics. Sometimes the lyrics are just okay. But when you get that beat and you put it with the lyrics, it's just a perfect combination. And that's what this is right here. She was riding this beat like a stallion. And this song about to make me go listen to more of the baby stuff because his stuff might not be necessarily up my alley. But every time I hear him, He's spitting some fire, so I'm going to have to go check this dude out. Bottom line, Cash Shift is a real good song. Maybe not great by my standards, but good. I can see this playing in the club or in the car. You know, some of y'all old school cats, y'all know y'all have that guilty pleasure. Songs you really don't admit to listening to, but the beat just sounds so crispy coming out the system. Yeah, you be bumping it. This is one of those songs. I am starting to notice a theme with Megan's music, much like a lot of the new female acts that are coming out in the hip hop community. A lot of sexual talk, uh, booties and thongs, dropping it low. Talk about dick and pussy every other line. Uh, that's just really not my style necessarily. 
Um, for some reason, it's just not my cup of tea. It's a personal preference. And while I'm at it, whenever I'm listening to a female singer or rapper, believe it or not, the looks never come into play for me. I'm a music dude. So what the fuck you look like is of no concern to me unless you're a dude that's a rapper that's running around with a dress on or rainbow colored hair. Other than that, your looks are irrelevant to me. Some of y'all clowns wouldn't listen to an ugly girl's music. That's because you're corny as fuck and your ears are broken. Go give them shits to a deaf motherfucker so he can do something meaningful with them. Next up, Big old Freak. This beat is cold. It sound like um, late 80s, early 90s slow jam type of shit. Uh, the sample reminds me of something I heard before, but I'm not about to do all the research. Somebody please tell me what the fuck this sample is down in the comments below. Ladies, I think y'all gonna like this one a lot. This is a jam you could rock out to before you go to work or to the spot. This shit goes so hard, my head was bobbing involuntarily. Uh, I'm listening to this thinking we need to get a Hurricane Chris Megan the Stallion collab. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking about. Anyway, three songs in, and it's looking like Megan Thee Stallion is official. Okay, my bonus song is Khaled Talk Remix featuring Megan Thee Stallion and Yo Gotti. Megan opens up this song, and she kills it. Already love this song. And Khaled is cold as fuck. I'm gonna do a whole show just about Khaled. So this is just one more Megan song that I cannot hate on. It might not be my cup of tea, but you could tell that Megan and her team have methodically been putting her in good positions, getting her good looks. I think it's true that Cardi B did open the door for this new breed of female rapper that's coming out right now. Labels ain't too dumb. I mean, they can see that this is a big untapped market and they're not about to leave no money on the table, especially with the type of skills and the look that Megan Thee Stallion has. So what's my verdict? Megan Thee Stallion is a real threat and not to be taken lightly. Will she be able to sustain this level of success over the long haul? Only time will tell. But right now she's on her grizzly and she's got my stamp. So go check her stuff out. I'm linking every song that I talked about in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Mike Powers. I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.